In this AutoCAD 2013 tutorial, I want to cover how the offset function works. So offset is this one right here. It's sort of this lumpy object, one inside of the other. And to do that, I'm going to create two very, very simple shapes. The first one is going to be made out of lines and the second out of a polyline, just to illustrate uh, the difference in how this tool will function. So the first one, I'm just going to have a simple five foot by 10 foot rectangle. And this one will be made out of individual lines. The second one will be made out of a polyline. So I'll do five feet by 10, same thing. And I'll do C for close. So once again, individual lines versus a polyline. So what I'm going to do is pick the offset command. That's this one right here, or O for offset. And when I do that, what it's going to be doing is saying, I want to know what the offset distance is. Okay, so I have to tell it that first. Um, for this example, I will do maybe 12 inches. So I'll say 12, enter. And now it says select the object. So offset's a little different in that you give it the measurement first, then you select the object. So in this one, if I pick a line, it will say specify the point on which side. So I can either go inside or outside. Okay, so I could go out and I can just keep picking. You'll see that I can pick this way and this way and so on. So I could keep going. So maybe I'll do a couple out and that's using the individual line. Now I could do a couple in. All right. And you'll see that it's taking this line, it's essentially copying it one direction or the other. That's offset. And that's working on a shape created with lines. Now this one over here, I'm still in the offset command, I can do, and this one's a polyline. So if I click this shape, if I come out, it will actually be creating the entire shape when I do this, and that goes for making it larger or smaller. So there's a very big difference in using offset to make something out of individual pieces versus a polyline. When I'm done, I can just hit enter. If I wanted to do an offset again, I can pick the offset command and notice that it's defaulting to one foot, and that's because I did the last one at 12 inches. If that's what I wanted to do again, I can just hit enter. But if I actually want to change that, I could type in three inches, for example. And now if I came over to offset, it would only go out or in three inches this time. Okay, so it's just that simple.